Hey guys, so I've got a video for you here showing you how to rename your video files to get them ready for Plex. Now what I used to do is I would rename them and I would put the year and then a dash and then the name of the movie. Because to me that was like the best way because you could sort them by year um because i just kept them in folders but when i started using plex um plex which just organizes your videos beautifully um it requires for it to find all the metadata it requires it to be uh, the name of the movie, a space, and then the year in parentheses. And when you have a very large collection of movies, um, that's just not going to work going through and renaming them each individually. So there's this program called Filebot. It's not free. Um, you can get a uh, one-year license for six bucks or you can get a lifetime license for 48 bucks um, I just purchased the one-year license I wanted to try it out um, this is something that I may actually end up purchasing the full license because it's just beyond useful um, so all you do is you grab your video files here and you drag them over now you can even do this over the network if you're, all of your movie files and everything are in a network folder. Because you're not actually moving the files. Um, so all you would do is you would literally select all your files from a network folder. And then move them to this. And it would work just fine. That's the way I did all of mine. And in fact, this uh, Filebot will <laughs> install on Mac OS, Ubuntu, Fedora... It will install on uh, NAS systems, Synology NAS, Docker. Um, it will install on just about anything. Um, so okay, we've got our we've got our files loaded loaded in here. We're gonna hit match, and you can select whichever one you want to do. It's great for TV series as well. It'll go through and fetch all the metadata and rename the movie series, each episode, I mean the uh, TV series, the episodes, it will give them the name of the series, um, the episode number, and the name of the episode. It, it'll fetch all of that and rename it. I'll, I'll show you examples here in just a second. But all you do is you click on match, and I scroll down here to, go down here to automatic, and click on that. And it just takes a second of searching through, trying to figure out what they are. And see, it, this is what it wants to name them. You've got your movie name and then the year in parentheses that they came out. And then you just hit rename. And then just like that, it has renamed each of our files. And so we can easily drag the, or cut and paste rather, to where we want them to go, these go in my movies folder, and then Spy Kids, of course, would go into my kids movies folder, and I've got this connected over Wi-Fi, that's the reason my transfers are a little bit slow, so we'll give this a second to complete. But, you can see here, that's just how it lists them. It lists the movie name and then the year. Now, if you're doing TV series, what that looks like is it will, you'll uh, give you the series name. The episode number and then the name of the episode 
and it will go through and do all that. Now it won't sort to, it won't sort it into folders for you. It doesn't do that. So if you have all of the episodes just literally listed here in the folder, then it's going to leave it like that. I have them sorted into individual folders. Um, it's neater, uh, and from what I've seen, Plex enjoys it being like that a lot more. Because uh, if you go over here to TV shows, you can see that if I uh, were to click on one, let's just click on, uh, we'll use Arrow again, for instance. It'll actually show you season one, season two, season three, and it shows you how many episodes and all that good stuff. But yeah. Using FileBot to rename all of your uh, movie files, your TV series files. Man, it just simplifies everything in your life when it comes to Plex. Because before I had this, I loaded all my files into Plex. And so much metadata was missing from so many movies. And it just had the incorrect movies. Um, some were just weren't showing up. It, it was just a mess. But then the moment that I ran this, I didn't have to go through and fix anything. It immediately matched all of my media to the correct uh, metadata and just populated beautiful in Plex. Um... So I do highly recommend FileBot. It's super simple to use. Uh, and that's really it for this video, man. Um, I appreciate you watching. And uh, uh, if you'd hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.